I need you to say that again, what you said when you got out. What'd you good. say? <laughs> you said, good morning what? Good morning. Good morning what? Wow. You said, good morning, cowboy. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Good morning, sucker boy. Yeah. <laughs>Hey everybody, Shirtless Jake here. Guys, I'm sitting out here on the tractor. I'm waiting for my good friend Uriel to be coming up the driveway back there, guys. He said he'd be here in about five minutes, but that was about two minutes ago. So if my math is correct, we might have about three more minutes until he gets here. But anyway, guys, uh, a couple days ago, I unloaded all this hay, stacked it all up over here. But on every single roll, you guys know you pick up the hay... And then the back of the tractor woo, 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 was being lifted up in the air. And it's just simply because I don't have a mower on the back of the tractor or anything. It's just, you know, nothing's back there. There's no counterweight for uh, these big rolls of hay. And these are smaller than the than the rolls that Lester has. So with Lester's rolls of hay, those were even, you know, tipping the tractor even more. So I have this fear of, of uh, tires, of like blowing up and stuff. My dad's friend owned a tire shop and... And uh, he told me a story one time. He was airing up a tire, and the tire blew up in his face. And, you know, I sent him to the hospital, all kind of stuff. So I, I'm not scared to, like, change a tire or to air up tires or to do this stuff. But, you know, you're asking me to take this tractor tire and to put water inside of it and air. And uh, that just seems very dangerous and scary to me with me, be, with me being uneducated about it. So Uriel is going to educate me. And what, what the purpose of putting the water... And the tractor tires is, guys. It's going to weigh down the tractor. So now whenever we scoop up hay, we'll have no more bouncing, no more teeter-tottering. And we're actually going to do a little uh, a little comparison. So right now I'm going to pull up to this hay, scoop it up, let the tractor teeter-totter. And then we'll try that same thing after we get the water in the, in the tires. So you guys saw the tractors doing all that teeter-totter and the back wheels are coming all the way up off the ground. And then I'll show you guys again after we get the water put in here. And I bet you that it doesn't move not an inch, guys. I bet you it don't move. I bet you it don't move nothing. It's going to be solid. It's going to be good. It's going to be way better. And uh, I'll explain more the further we get along, y'all. I need you to say that again, what you said when you got out. What would you say? <laughs> you said, good morning, what? Good morning. Good morning, what? You said good morning, cowboy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good morning, sir, cowboy. Yeah, good morning, sir, cowboy. That's what I like to hear in the mornings, Uriel. All right, so what Uriel's done here is he got the tractor put up on some blocks here. He got a concrete block, two pieces of two by four, two jacks up underneath it. Now he's taking out the valve stem. <laughs> so he's going to let all the air come out of all these tires, and so the tractor will sit all the way down. On these blocks here and then that's whenever he'll put on this adapter and then uh the water hose goes onto this and then we'll fill it up with water about three quarters of the way and then we'll put the right amount of air pressure back in it and then we should be good with this project y'all i don't want to lose any of this stuff all right guys here y'all got all the adapters hooked on how it goes i'll just now turn on the water That's it? Oh. Oh, that's cool, okay. So it literally like injects the water into the tire. You can actually hear the water being filled up in the tire. That's awesome. Oh yeah. Well, it's going to take a long time to fill up that tire. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, so it's full. What do we do now? All right. Cool. We're just waiting for all the water to come out, and we'll put back in the valve stem and then we'll take the air pressure. Look at this. This is crazy, guys. We're blowing bubbles. That's not a sound that I'm used to hearing whenever I air up a tire, guys. Seriously. 
That's weird. We gotta get it to 50 PSI, so I'm gonna check it right now. So guys, Uriel just now showed me this. Pay attention to the tire. Right here along the seam whenever I start putting air in it. Watch this. Look at it. Look at it moving over to the edge. That is crazy. And that is semi-scary, y'all. That's it's literally moving over here. I don't like it. But it's working. Look at that. It's spraying me. It's literally spraying me with water, y'all. So I've used the uh, the forks once again here to push down and pick up the tractor. I was very careful not to bend our cylinders again. But look, guys, we got it picked up just enough to where this tire will spin freely. So we're going to get it adjusted. Water is going to go in about 50% of this tire, wherever that lines up to. And so we'll do the same thing on the front. That we just did on the back two tires. Third tire, full of water. All right, guys, old Uriel got it all done for us, guys. I'm about to stab into this hay right here. And we're going to see, guys, hopefully we have no more tractor tipping. No more tractor tipping, y'all. This thing, it better be solid, y'all, because that was a whole lot of water that we just now put in these tires. I'm, I'm excited for this, y'all. I'm really excited. Here we go. I'm just going to set y'all down. We're just going to go for it, y'all. Here we go. tractor trapped inside of a little tractor's frame that's all for this one bye guys have a great day